Hello and welcome to Rule of Thirds, a conversation about art, design and culture with your hosts Burns, Mike and Jude. If this is your first time listening, welcome to the family. Be sure to follow us on our Instagram at Rule of Thirds Pod. Don't be shy to say hi. A question about the arts and the craft. If you didn't know, then it's good that you asked. You tune into the culture. Just a rule of thirds if you want to. You could tune at work, yeah. You tell me, does that frame fit good? Does it feel right? You want to steal a photo for your website. But you want a logo we can design, right? Yeah. In this episode, we speak about if AI is credible art as well as why creatives love to hoard their work. Enjoy. My AI has been sick though. I can't lie, even this new Adobe, um, what do you call it, update. I've been I've been using it. I don't know if you've seen like the lo- a lot of like memes and stuff of like people doing When they expanded with the AI stuff. To feel, yeah. mm. But I, I, I kind of feel like I don't love it at the same time i think what ai is good for is maybe like captions and right synchronizing like the small tasks and stuff yeah. right but i think when it's actually creating something nah not really why it kind of just feels like just search google like do you know what i mean that's <laughs> 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 i don't want and usually i don't know maybe ai will get better but i think ai at the moment is very random and it's also very um biased so for example mm-hmm. you could do like oh um get me a picture of somebody in the gallery mm-hmm. and I might get a rich person of a certain demographic with a certain suit jacket maybe on. Yeah. And marrying some art. Do you know what I mean? It's not very it'll just get what's the most like generic like and most com- bi- yeah, right. com- yeah. So basically it's already biases in AI. Mm. So what do you think when they say imagine someone in a gallery though? I think I'm like, like one of us. Really? You're, you're, whoa, really? Man. No, but we go to... <laughs> so don't figure that. No. No, no. Is that self-hate? Yeah, I can't lie. No, I don't, I don't think it's self-hate, but like, I think we are as biased as AI. You know, as but, as the people, not individuals. Yeah, but, but we I mean, all have yeah. our own internal like, own, bias yeah. and stuff, in it. But, but you know what I'm saying? So that's its interpretation. Yeah, so that's it. I feel like the more time passes on, the more we train it and the more inputs go in yeah. so like people asking for like, let's say Asian people in a gallery or black people in a gallery it yeah. will kind of normalise it and yeah. then it will randomise it but it just doesn't feel I, I don't know there's still something about something being a concept by a computer that is something I don't know but you don't think it's real art I don't think it's real art to be honest mm. I, it just, I'll be honest I don't think AI art is real art I think if it's used to <laughs> this guy, <laughs> you know. If it's Man, I can't believe you just said that. This guy. That's someone's whole that's someone's whole job, you know. I'll be honest, I don't think it's they real get paid art. money as well. Yeah, you know what it is? I think if it's AI has been used to enhance it, okay. That's, that's a different okay. matter. Mm. But I think if AI has been used to build everything from start to finish, that's right. not art. Okay. I just I just can't see because I guess art for me is something that's more is a human orientated um sort of process. It's not Art, I don't associate it with. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It's like when you go to exhibition, mm. we went to exhibition. Yeah. It wasn't created by uh, one Apple computer somewhere. Like it was created by somebody. Yeah. That has a, a story, that has art bringing, that has a culture. Do you know what I mean? Whereas with AI art, it's very detached from that. I see what you're saying. Yeah. And like where they're pulling images from, are they pulling it from Getty? They're pulling it from Google. Where that, like it's very, yeah, there's a lot of, mm, and it's, it's coming from somewhere. Mm. Yeah. I think my qualm was that was was that like we also pull from places as well. So I'm just thinking like if we treat AI as a person, obviously it's not. Yeah. But I'm saying if we treat it as a person and you really think about it, that's all. That's what we do as well. But is I'm saying it's AI is from start to finish. Yeah. Whereas so, we, so if we are starting the process and we're using AI to assist us. So for example, mm. I don't see nothing with ChatGPT because it actually helps us in our process sometimes. Now say we're stuck for ideas, mm-hmm. even though, to be honest, you can you, like copy, like you could take it all as like, yeah. and put it as well. You know, who, stuff, even, who even to say that we shouldn't even, because um, you no, know, you just say, oh, no, actually it's good for your brain to think of your own ideas. What about if I, what about if we don't need to? What about if you can just make it quicker? Do we actually always have to work slow? I mean, I feel like there's definitely like a you know study, I mean? there's, there's a study somewhere about us using our brains less and how that impacts us in a, in a bad way. Mm. But does um, it give us a chance to use our brain more? 
if, well, it's, if we're getting rid of like the. But it, I guess it comes to how like how we're all using it and stuff. Yeah, it? yeah, yeah, of course. All of these, they always say, oh, these tools are great for like make things easier, make so things easier, yeah. and like they should be used to do that. But yeah, yeah. it's like when people think about, I don't know, off the top of my head, this is going a bit left, but like Oppenheimer guy, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, for example, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. all of that genius to make a bomb, yeah, and then the aftermath of that. But that same genius could like also do a lot of other things as mm-hmm. well, mm-hmm. and like the tools that we have, we all. Yeah, like people always say, like, is is it the AI that's bad or is it the people? Cause, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It's definitely the people. So what I'm saying, like, I don't feel like people who do AI are aren't necessarily artists. But if the AI is a thing where they they've come up with a concept and they're using AI to assist them, I don't think there's a problem with that. But I think it's just more so like if you literally type in, um, I want a <laughs> painting of this, but enter that, and you, that's you publish that. No, nah, nah, I don't. It's never that, that easy. That's, 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 that's yeah. no. But sometimes it is. Nah, some, nah, no, no. no nah, there's it's definitely it's, like a refining. It's, it's never, it's never that easy. Do. Okay. Yeah. May, maybe on what was that mid journey? Mid journey. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, maybe you can refine it, but that's still that's not art to me, man. It's, it's. Man, there is an it, art to it. There, there, there is. There oh is. yes. Like I manipulate it to get to the point of, but still, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Yeah. It's. It's. I'm conflicted because I feel like there's an artist I follow and I feel like he definitely uses <laughs> AI, yeah. some of these, but the images that he makes are amazing. Like, amazing. Yeah. But there's like a concept and there's a story and like all the pieces that he has made. Yeah. Then there's, there's like there, a There's a level line. of art to that. Yeah. I'm literally but that's saying, what I'm saying. somebody just goes at home and just sits and taps in. But like the same thing in graphic design. There's a lot of graphic designers who just go home and then... Copy. Canva. <laughs> Wait, what are you guys thoughts on <laughs> Canva? Well, that, that's my thoughts on Canva. It's like, know. it's like, yeah, yeah. No, obviously, I don't, I don't think it's bad. No, of course not. It's, again, it's, it's like, a tool. it's a tool yeah. in how people use it. Like, and if you think about, many people use Canva, mass scale, the templates are already there. Mm-hmm. But then if people don't have like the design know-how, they're going to pick up a certain template and use it. But then multiple people doing that means the design's going to get rinsed out. And when you see certain like flyers, you're like, yeah, I was, I was definitely on Canva. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Even the dimension sometimes give it away. Yeah. <laughs> it's a dimension. No, no, for no, real. Yeah, you're right, though. But so what I'm saying, like, I feel like like stuff like Canva is like it's just a tool. Same with like the AI. I do feel like there's always gonna be like people in different fields who take the mic. Yeah. And then just go for the easiest thing to get like, you know. Uh, there's an artist yeah. who actually another artist, I think I just like the picture. I'll tr- I'll try to find it. Um and she he or she has um portraits a series of portraits of mm-hmm. like families yeah basically saying that like in in in, pro, in the process of her or him i can't remember in the process of, of yeah. them um doing these experiments they're trying to see how they render a family for example mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and it's like to like, for the person to then go through the refinement process of trying to get like the hijab right or trying mm-hmm. to get like a particular hat correct yeah. or particular like skin tone mm-hmm. or even the henna or whatever like those kind of details like mm. you have to be some kind of artist to to yeah, want to that's... get to that you know amount of like detail yeah. if not it's like I, photography I guess... anyone could say like oh yeah, yeah the camera does the work no I guess I guess maybe it's just one of those new forms of art that people's got to accept like for example when you think about music production mm-hmm. there's ways they made music back in the day that if somebody saw how people were making music now they'd be like no yeah you're exactly not, you're just yeah I guess it's like the whole like purist yeah. versus is, like is, is that conversation. technology side of things. Like even with um, because some people, for example, would say like three D character design type stuff or yeah. like animate yeah. is not art. No, it's art, man. When I think about games, for mm. example, like but some people would not class. Some people won't class it as art. You're right. Yeah. No, I hear that. I think I was even think I had a conversation with um, my friends over there about um, like what's your favorite sort of like kind of games and mm. I think the two that came up in the conversation was open world and platform mm-hmm. okay and both of them are so artistic mm. so like obviously new Spider-Man came out mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and like even in the old Spider-Man well, the old only came out a few years ago but um, the uh, Miles Morales one like actually being in New York and just interactions yeah. with people and whatever like it's makes it feel real it's sick and it's like I'm not looking at them. It's like, wow, somebody's, or well, then somebody, well, I'm sure it's a whole team, but hmm. a team has like, spent time, time like ensuring that there's a bit of um, snow on this building and the snow falls like this. Mm-hmm. And that time, that advert looks like that. Do you know what I mean? In the game, like mm. people actually make it adverts for games. Yeah. 
that that for me is mind blowing. I think I think that's amazing. Do you know what I mean? Is that even Minecraft? Yeah. yeah. Wait, what? Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> no I'm dead like, serious. People be like, I, I don't love it, but the fact that people. Oh, like you're talking about like there's an art to Minecraft. Someone made the whole galaxy. Yeah, yeah. 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 So people do go crazy. That's and, insane. Yeah. Someone even did, like, redid all of like Beyonce's Renaissance like concert. Oh yeah, I think I saw that. Yeah. I think on TikTok Minecraft, or something. Yeah. yeah. That's insane. But the thing is, is that art or is that in like boredom? I mean, that's maybe it's both. Yeah, it can like, be. Can be because I feel like with art, like as long as there's like context to it, it can be. Or sometimes, like when I say context, it's not that it has to be like has it's have all of this meaning and stuff. But mm. like when we look at um like modern art, there was a time obviously when people would see like okay a painting of like a red canvas and they're thinking I can make that. But then yeah. there's like context to that like mm. art before then at a different time was maybe more like realistic and looking like portraits and stuff. And then people are trying to bring like a contemporary wave. Yeah. of art and like modernism to things that was completely like unheard of at the time so mm. that context does help provide more meaning to the piece of work so it's not just like a red canvas yeah, anymore it's like yeah. more than that it represents something new so with these forms of art like context of like the day and age that we live in now provides a lot of help to like call this the media that we consume because mm. oh. mm. even with ai sometimes i'm a bit like we're well, like on, on edge in terms of like figuring out if it's actually f- yeah like a cheat code mm. but then some people i guess maybe it's c- certain people's attitude as well because you know how some people would be like oh no like i look at what i could do in 10 minutes with my ai yeah, exactly. and it seems like you're like trying to stun on people that could do this mm. without, without having, without to, having to rely on any of that mm. do you feel like they should be humble about it though because i mean it's, it's, it is kind of painful that what someone might have taken years to study, you can go online, type a few things, and it will come up. <laughs> like, it is, it is a bit of a piss take. But it is, it it's is. also like, you kind of have to just deal with it. That's funny. because go eat that. I'm actually thinking of both of us and how, like, different, but we didn't go to uni for design, but yeah. we're designers. So that here for you are. some people, it's like... <laughs> you're, you're, yeah, you are AI to them. <laughs> you're, 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 yeah. Both of you are AI to somebody. So we're, boo! Not, yeah. we're, actually, we're not, we're not purists. You know, we're, not, we're not design... Like, we're, we're not the ones that have <laughs> grinded through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, are, you are fake. <laughs> I don't know how you made it here. Anyway, yeah. We're here, man. We're here now. We're here, y'all. You get me? All right. So today... Um, first of all, how is everyone? Stay in the rule of thirds. <laughs> yeah. Um... Yeah, I'm, I'm good, man. Yeah? The rain and the uh, um, dark mornings are, have come back again, haven't they? Mm. Which mm. which I don't mind sometimes. But wake up this morning was, hey! Yeah. Like, you remember was, where you are? Bro, I woke up here. It was dark. It was still yeah. dark. So I was thinking I should still be sleeping, but I saw 7 but o'clock. No, get up. <laughs> and the rain. Pa, 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 like, my, yeah. hey, how does the rain sound? <laughs> pa, pa, pa. <laughs> Why does your rain have reverb? Why the pop? But like, it, it was lang though. But the rain? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not a fan. Oh, you like rain sounds? Yeah, usually I sleep to the rain the, sounds. The, the sounds, yeah, but, but like, it was funny having to go outside is a bit... The rain sounds blended into the actual rain. Ah. Uh, which kind of sick. Uh, what? Yeah. Like immersive experience. Yeah, yeah you know. Uh, 40. Um, but... <laughs> 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 but nah, yeah, yeah, I'm cool, man. Um, mm. A lot of thinking at the moment in terms of like creativity and... Um, my goals and ambitions for the next few years. Mm. Um, but yeah, that's where I'm at at the moment. How about you guys? Big. I'm chilling. Yeah? Yeah, I'm chilling. I can't complain. I think, yeah, this week has been... I think I'm getting cold. I think a lot of people are getting cold. Mm. Yeah, I think, I think I'm getting cold. Yeah. But that usually means either I'm too tired for, like, working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or I'm just coming to London too much. You've been doing a lot, so... Yeah. Yeah, but it hasn't required me to like, f- like it's not a lot of physical, but mental though. I don't know. Have you been sleeping? Yeah. Oh, okay. I've been. Oh, I've been sleeping. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But the thing is, my my hours. I feel like I work like night shifts now, so I will end up oh. sleeping like three a.m. Mm. Wake up at like nine ten. Do you think that's actually bad for you? Oh, I do feel like it's definitely not good. Mm. You know, when people, you know <laughs> it's when people are like, oh, it's a construct of time kind of thing. Oh, no, nah, like, boo. No, no, no. It's, it's bad. Your, your, like, your body, like, your... Yeah. 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 I can't, it's, it's funny now because I sleep, I sleep before 12 these days now, mm. which is weird. Before I, Grandpa. T- oh, I'm done. But Boomer. Like, <laughs> before it be 2 a.m., 3 a.m. Yeah. Right, right, bad nah. boy. Nah, man. <laughs> you change. Nah, man, I can't. Because I generally feel like the effects of it. 
like even waking up to the start of your day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? I know you probably see the films or whatever, but like it's actually the, I'm sure people even listen to this have the, have routines that mm-hmm. like they wake up in the morning, they make a certain breakfast. Well, or have whatever. one bite and walk out. <laughs> <laughs> no, but for me it's like <laughs> Well like <laughs> you're in a rush. I'll put it on. Oh get, get, I, I took a waffle from the kitchen. Like, oh you put I, your mouth and walk around. <laughs> yeah. That yeah, yeah, yeah. means like I ain't trying to do that. I'm trying to wake up. Have mm, a bit of time. I want to make the porridge on the stove. Okay. So I, I did this other day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Open, sunshine leaking I feel in. like there's 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 some beauties in life that there's some what? Like I'm not gonna lie. I really thought he said. This is a PG show. What's this? <laughs> what, you think I said? what did you think? What did before you think? Before he said yash. <laughs> <laughs> I said beauties. Oh, beauty, be- beauty. So oh, there's, a, there's some beauties. <laughs> it's the East London. Yeah, because he's a boot. He's a boot. He's a boot. He's a boot. Oh, he's a beauty. Oh, I didn't say that. Wait, bro. is that what he said? No, I didn't okay. say that. Okay. <laughs> bro, what is the context of that? It's a beauty. Hey, where is East London in me? But there's some beauties. <laughs> yeah, some beauties. Um, In life, like, just the, like, even the other day I was working, I just saw a little screw. It had like a little, like, I don't know what he had in his mouth, but okay. it was rolling it and like eating it and it ran off. But like, those things are nice to see. Because, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I live in Crunch now, isn't it? So maybe it's... Maybe that's nah, what's... That's yeah, what, <laughs> I feel like that's what's happening. Because so. in the city, yeah, you ain't seen that. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> you see a rat. You see a, a live old rat. Yeah, man. Like doing press-ups on the <laughs> floor. <laughs> I love, I love just like, <laughs> life slowing... <laughs> just press-ups, no. I love like, life being slowed down and actually taking your time, man. Because yeah. we went to the exhibition mm. um, and like, even that, uh, I'm about to say to Michael, um, wow, like, time is really, like, precious, you know? Yeah. Like, this guy that did the art, like, mm-hmm. uh, he had time. That's why I was able to produce all this stuff. Word. Do you know what I mean? He's like, yeah, we need to recapture that. So, yeah. But, Mac, how you doing? I'm cool. I'm alive. Um, this country will not kill me. Mm. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> no, like Amen. you were saying, Buns, I think because the weather and stuff is like, ah... I even like bought Floridix recently and stuff as well. Oh yeah, like, yeah I've seen, I know them. I need to, I need to get on that. Yeah, I, I uh, use Bassets. Oh, okay. What's that? What's that? The um, gummy, the gummy, also, the gummy vit- vitamins. Yeah. Oh, I think I had some. I have mine like Sambu or whatever. It's like purple. We were gonna say Sambu like, huh? Yeah. That, no, I don't think that that helps. That it's that, a, but yeah. it's some chewy thing. Okay, um, calm. Uh, it may be placebo thing though. I don't know. <sighs> I'd rather that than feel, feel not. sick. <laughs> yeah, no, that's true, actually. Yeah. And, like, even with moods, because you know how people are like, oh, yeah, like, get your, like, vitamins in, especially us as, like, like people with vitamin D. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, no, no, like, sun. It's needed. It's it, needed. It brings the joy. Bro. I can't it's needed. It like, brings so much joy. It drains you at the same time. What, what? sun? Yeah. Yeah, but I need that. When, but it's, when it's too, maybe when, yeah, too when it's too much. much but, like, like, but it's definitely needed. Nah, it really, like, switches your day because like yeah, 100%. me going away to like France yeah mm. welcome back thank you yeah. can you speak parlez-vous par- français the amount of excusez-moi eh, oh, je parle plus français um, well that's your like sentence to start off and then no, you start je suis désolé je parle plus français je suis désolé so you're saying sorry yeah. I am sorry yeah. Yeah. I speak little French je suis désolé <laughs> no let me just because you know like cultural differences between yeah. the French and English so it's like where'd well, you go you went south yeah south yeah so Nice and oh those. yeah, yeah. They they have a different accent there as well. Yeah. Swear so, accent. Yeah, they do. Yeah. So Sanders they don't even like when you come in with like the Paris Pari- Parisian fans, like they're like, is it, like, <laughs> is it like the that's the funny. Liverpool in London? Oh, that's funny. Is it like that? I guess, I guess so. so. Yeah. Isn't that weird in another context? Yeah, that's kind of weird. But yeah, mm. basically that. Hmm. But can you, can you can you tell the difference of the how they're speaking? Bro, like, French like, is French to us. No, you no. Know, as in like, I was just hearing. Speaking, I yeah. said, ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but one thing was that was great, though. I feel like they thought I was French. French? You'd look, you'd look yeah, French. French. It's the beard and the, yeah. Yeah. And yeah, the glasses. Do you have a beret? No, I he, didn't. Nah. Oh, that would have been funny. That's, that's a giveaway. Nah, you well. can't, yeah. I, I learned from the first time. I was like, oh, this If you wear a beret. Is, is that people coming to London and then they've got a massive London, <laughs> I love <laughs> UK. I love UK. <laughs> Please. Oh. God, nah. But yeah, um, it was good. But even like the sun there, I was just happy. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even do anything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I was just happy walking, like walking around. Mm-hmm. And I was thinking, yeah. Sun's it's important. London. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's definitely London. London. And I think because like things like. The UK like, is not really London to do. Yeah, no, it's true. Nah. No, 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 no. Nah, no it's no, London. Nah. Hmm? Yeah, actually. Yeah. It's London. 
Actually, you're right. You're right. When I go back home, I'm happy. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. You're right. It's definitely London. Yeah, like, the, there is something. I think it's just it's the hustle and bustle of London. It's too much pressure. There's it a, makes you feel anxious yeah, yeah, all the time. Something can do. Oh, yeah, oh, definitely. In the realm. Some gargantuan spiritual <laughs> structures. Because now, nah, honestly, anytime I come into London, I just feel drained. Mm. Yeah, it's like, I go home and I'm just like, I need to wash away my body like sin. Yeah. Like, yeah, L- London's not biblical, man. No. I think because, like, again, <laughs> like, culturally, it's just very. Everyone's it's, just going about their business. Day like rush. you said, hustle, hustle. And bustle, bustle. Yeah. Yep. The grind. It's, it's kind of really yeah, sad, though, because uh, it's very morbid. But I think when it comes down to it, it's like, right, all of this for what? No, 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 no. <laughs> Reload it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. the people are making money, you know. So, and so? No, but like, again, that's, that's like, like, <laughs> it's, it's, it's like, it's like, that's great, but it's like, yeah, <laughs> it's going to go, bro. Like, no, but like, I mean, okay, it's funny, yeah, because on the train today, mm. yeah. There were two these two gentlemen in front of me talking. They were coming to London, but they work mm. in Hertfordshire. Yeah, mm. and they were talking, talking, and I was like, I didn't want to eavesdrop, but they were loud. Mm. And they were talking. It was like, you know, yes, yeah, so I just got an offer for a new job. I just I put my my CV on Indeed, and they just emailed Indeed. me. Indeed, yeah, all the all the older men. Responses. Yeah, these are like a lot of peace. And these are older men, you know. I'm talking about like maybe like late 40s oh, wow. having a conversation Fair about enough. and they were like oh yeah he just checked his uh, CV on Indeed um, they offered him um, a role in like a water company like water plant company and like yeah they were like 80k 90k <laughs> um, but he was like he doesn't really know if he's he, that interested he feels like he'll be too bored and the, the other guy was like I hear it yeah man. I could tell that money's not like an influence for you he's like mm. yeah not really no I hear it they, they get to a point in life wow. where you're like as if you work in a bad job yeah, no, nah, you'll feel it. Yeah. You'll feel no, it. No, let's say if you work in a bad job, you get a lot of money. AEK for a bad job? what I've seen as well. Lot, One year? No, like trust two me. Years. Nah, trust me. A lot, a lot of people, especially in this generation, like yeah. our, our our generation, like millennials and Gen Z. Definitely. They're getting into like, what, like the corporates mm-hmm. and a lot of them are wanting to come out of that and go into arts. Mm. Yeah. Because no, they... we can't, we can't have that. <laughs> go <laughs> balance go, go out. <laughs> stay your lane. Stay, stay, yeah, stay, yeah, stay your lane. Yeah. Come on. But like a lot of people are coming out of that because... They're realizing this is too much for me. I can't do this no more. Yeah. Yep. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, yeah, I guess the point where money's not really the fact. Bro, yeah, but that's when you've made your money. Because I can't lie, the way he no, was speaking no, about the really, 80K, you know? 90K, yeah, it sounds like the no, job. Like if you were bro, in a certain city, si- if, if you're earning 15K, if life was yeah, saying something, 15K, you'd be yeah, like, less than two, yeah, 2K a month. Yeah. Oh, no, and no, someone no. says, yeah, we're going to give you 80K to come and work at a water plant. You're trying to tell me you're like, nah. I wouldn't do it, you know. Stop lying. It depends no, on the I actually wouldn't do it. I probably wouldn't do it. Stop lying, bro. If I'm a designer, if I'm a designer, I'll do it. Yeah, if it was a design, hey, but <laughs> <What? laughs> hey. well, that's what you can say. It's a passion of ours. Mm. Yeah, but I'm trying to say like, okay, let's say they say admin ATK. Admin, what I, kind of admin? I can't allow it. No, like it's heavy paperwork. I don't like that. And you have to do a lot of Excel. <laughs> you see? Okay, that might be a nightmare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. ah, Excel. 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 Wait, wait, you ruined it with Excel. If you I didn't say Excel, it would have been fine. This is, this is where the, the the problem comes with money. Also comes longer hours. I've realized the more money you get, the more they can not convince you because I guess it depends on your willpower. Mm. But the more they can convince you is that, oh, are you sure you can't stay? No, we've got to get this. But job. I don't think it works. Like, it, if, like if, if you're a senior, it, it depends where though. If you're if you're senior, more time it, you're not it, doing it, that it, much. It depends on the coach of the company. To be fair, because like I feel like people who do a lot of hours are usually like lower up, lower in the no, hierarchy. No, a lot of seniors do long hours as well. To be fair. Yeah, but they love it because they get to expense everything. That part right there. Yeah. The amount of dinners that I've seen people just expense. Nah. They'll be like, oh yeah, I'm and just going to stay in the office for a few they're hours. Get, and, <laughs> they're getting, and they're getting, oh, to be fair, and they're getting paid well. Yeah. When you're getting paid like 100K, you think, oh, what's, what's the next Yeah, they, they expense everything. They'll be hour. booking in a Black Cab like. all the way Thank to like you. Yorkshire. <laughs> and they'll be like, oh, I'll be back in two hours, huh? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> On a company's card? Bro, that's funny. That's what I'm saying. The relationship with money, obviously, we spoke about um, with salaries the other day, but like the relationship with money in the in the UK is just so funny. In terms mm. of like, especially London, like when you're getting paid a certain amount of money, just the things you're able to do, ridiculous. It's, like, it's, don't even think about it. Yeah, yeah. but I, I don't know. Maybe for some people, I guess as well, as well, like your your upbringing as well. If you've lived in a certain level of not poverty, but if it's like where you don't feel like you've been able to experience everything, when you get to a certain age, you're going to try and do everything. Mm. Yeah. Security. You wanna, yeah, you want to yeah. feel like... So yeah, it's understandable to be fair. AEK. God. Yeah. But not admin. <laughs> <laughs> no, because there's jobs out there. 
This I is mean, available. American yeah, companies yeah. see oh. all these TikToks. Guys, if, by any means necessary, if got to work for an American work, company. If you work in an American company, yeah, email us at Rule of Thirds. <laughs> <laughs> Rule of Thirds. No, no, real talk. at gmail.com. I want to find out your experience. Just tell us. Because honestly, yeah. I want to hear, yeah. I want to hear some of this because. I, I would do it. US companies. And I, the culture there is just different. It as is well, different. Especially in media. Yeah, but you're working silly hours, or you see when we go back to the sleep thing. Yeah, you're not mm. sleeping. Yeah. I know that that one. You're, if, it, <laughs> if it's a media, you're definitely not sleeping. Yeah, like you're gonna be stressed out. But it's gonna be like fun stress. Yeah. Like yeah. you have like a bad day, and the next day will be like, oh, your favorite artist is coming to like the, yeah, 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 the yeah, yeah, company. Yeah. Mm. Go yeah. say hi. Yeah. Take a picture. Yeah. And then the next day is like, oh, you have to stay till like midnight. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the balance, baby. Okay. So, so are we gonna go into this? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go let's into go, this. Let's go. Okay. So yeah. earlier today, I guess we we're having the conversation about hoarding. Mm. Mm. Why were we having that conversation about yeah. food? Should I, you should say. You should say. Why did you have a conversation, Burns? I mean, so that you can. Ah, right, cool. Yeah. Why did we have that conversation, Burns? <laughs> so, um, our dear friend Jude. Hi, that's me. Is releasing the project. Well, is it this Friday? Yeah, it's this, this Friday. This Friday. If you listen to it as when it came out. Oh my God! I'm so excited. Yeah. If you listen to it on a week commencing. Oh, it's tomorrow. Monday the twenty third. Monday twenty yeah. of October is coming out on the Friday. Yeah. If if if, if we listen to after that is ready out. It's out. Go, go listen yeah, to yeah, that. Yeah. Um but yeah, I basically asked him no, we we're talking and we we're saying I think we we're talking about other artists that he's worked with and stuff. Uh-huh. And then he was saying how they've they've got about what fifty Easily over fifty songs together. Yeah. So then I asked the question, why are you not releasing that? Why do you just have that? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it went on to the conversation about like um hoarding as a creative, it's like why do we do that? Mm-hmm. So yeah, why do you have fifty songs that are unreleased? I mean, sometimes you when you get in the flow of things, it's yeah. like it's like ideas. Mm-hmm. So not not all the time are these songs like finished hundred percent, mm-hmm. but okay, like it's enough for it to be a song. Mm-hmm. It's same thing like a photographer going out and taking photos. They might not edit the pictures and put them out and stuff, yeah. but it's done. Yeah, it's yeah. there. If they want to, they could. If that makes sense. So I think sometimes, at least with music anyway, it's, you have to catch like moments mm-hmm. and you can't catch all the moments all at once in terms of like, you can't catch like three albums worth of music all in one go. Sometimes you need to kind of let it live depending on what the subject matter is. And like, I think the example of the artist that we're talking about is uh, Quay Kizar. Mm-hmm. Uh, shout out to Quay. Mm-hmm. Um, and He's an artist, like, for example, that will take his time to kind of curate the sound and what he wants to talk about. Mm-hmm. And he, he he doesn't necessarily like to write when he has nothing to say. Yeah. And I think that that becomes... Which I think a, is actually wisdom. Exactly. Yeah. So it's like, if you don't have anything to say, you might have a thousand songs, but if there's nothing of substance in there, yeah. it yeah. makes it very difficult yeah. for you to kind of put it out. And I think yeah. it works the same with all disciplines, where it's like, yeah. you might have great, like, cool ideas, but yeah. it's like, it's not telling any... It's not saying anything, so you're like... Yeah, let us just sit on the shelf. Mm. Which I'm pretty sure all of us. I mean, I know Michael definitely is hoarding, like, <laughs> hoarding some stuff because I've seen some stuff that has never come, like seen the light of day. Mm. You know the way I'm like, what are you talking? Where's about? Where's that church project? Wow. Exactly. It's oh, there. Snap. I've just taken over of Instagram, but it's on. It's on newcomer. But you didn't finish it. Shout out to newcomer. It's though. a w- working. Pr- it's a work in progress. Yeah. There's a lot mm. of. I need funding. I actually need funding. If, if if you fund, no. please email us. <laughs> 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 no, I need like for that, for example, like because I want to. Huh, there's a lot I want to do with the project, and like I want to involve other people, and a I was documentary about, thing, mm. possibly, mm. possibly a documentary, possibly like people doing like short bits, whether it's like singing or like dancing, because there's like a couple of friends that I have that like do all of that and they used to do that in the churches that they were in yeah mm-hmm. but because it's a he- it's heavy subject matter so i don't want to just kind of like ah, oh, let's dig into this trauma i know some people wouldn't even want to even show their face that too as well so it's just like how to navigate mm. all of that and then um if i want to put it up somewhere where would that, it exist and that costs money because even mm. i've been looking a lot at um galleries and all that or spaces to rent out for like shows and stuff yeah, yeah. thousands if you no, want to do it for more than one day anyway. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Then fair that's enough, that's quite cheap. <clears throat> if it's ticketed, that's quite cheap. I don't want to ticket it, but... Hey. No, I, I, know. F- I feel I like... Feel like feel a little, little, what? Five or... Yeah. Or at least something is to cover the cost. Maybe, but like... 
if I wanted, if you want something to be accessible for like many I do, people, yeah, I it's like you want to like remove as many barriers to entry as you can. Yeah, I hear that. So, um, arts council. I mean, arts council be paying people to like you know do stuff, do the art. Yeah, so you're right. You're I right. spoke to some people though. Um, shout out to the Black Curatorial. Um, went to an event last week, mm-hmm. Saturday, two weeks ago. Um, yeah, two on two Saturdays ago, Sha. Mm-hmm. But um, they had an event. Um, there was more focus, I guess, to like the curators who want to like put on exhibitions, but also discussions with artists and what they want it, what they expect from like curators. Yeah, and vice versa. And then um, people talking about what goes into an exhibition. And I think the more I have like engaged with like certain creative people, the more like I realize a lot of people are like holding on to their projects and either waiting for the right time to share things or that's, waiting to yeah, like build it up a bit more mm. or it's still like a work in progress or some people it might actually just be a fair thing, I guess as well. Yeah. It's a mixture of things. But I, a lot, it seems yeah. like a lot of people in general are just like holding on to it. even ideas. But sometimes yes. it, it's nice though because I think even with... um that those ideas can become references for something else. Exactly. So a lot of times, like, I, I don't know, I see a lot of the um, Virgil stuff when you're doing, like, album covers or whatever, but, like, you have, like, mm. these old versions of it and then later it would, it would evolve to become like this or mm. something mm. like that. Do you know what I mean? I'm sure there's loads of songs that were once, they were com- came from those Amelie songs that were 10 years ago. Yeah, and came yeah. And question, like, oh, let's refine this, but it mm-hmm. sounds different now. Which is yeah, yeah, no, like, that makes sense. Even, remember, we listen to the Jesus is King yeah. yeah. So like even that how that's been refined further. Like, mm-hmm. Right. Do you know what I mean? That's an example of like the evolution that comes with sometimes you may be holding something but actually that can become a reference to create something better. Yeah. In the future. Music's probably like a really good example of like hoarding, iterating mm-hmm. yeah. and like building from like scratch. You're seeing processes from like start to finish mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. and stuff because I guess it's so accessible but like Compared to people that paint or do photography, even paint paintings a lot of iterations. Painting mm-hmm. is a lot of iterations. Yeah, but, but I do see what you're saying we about the music. We don't see it as much as we do with like music. Music, yeah. we'll hear like yeah, someone's yeah, demo right. or like like a leak or a yeah, leak yeah, or yeah. like I don't know. Like, is it stems that they call it or whatever? Mm-hmm. Or like, I don't know. I, I know. It's I, mean, I don't know production, but yeah, certain things like you'll hear like whether it's the instrumentals or the production and mm-hmm. that kind of stuff, or where it originated from. Oh, you mean like for example, like if I remember like the um. Huh? Whoa! <laughs> and I don't even know why Blood Orange was playing on my phone, but shout out to Blood Orange. You know why? You, I mean, it's related to music, so at least it's that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, like I think the Michael Jackson like stems will come out, and mm. they'll show you how like he used to like layer his vocals, and you that hear stuff is insane. You hear like little things like at the end, like run it back again, <laughs> or like uh, yeah, I like that one, like he, he that one, like these little little like yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I, I do think that. But at what point though does this become an issue? Because I was keeping, um, yeah, because I'll be honest, some people who are chronically holding your growth, then that's when it becomes a problem. Because I think there's some people that have potentially have got like um, pieces of art Mm. that if they were to release this one, Mm -hmm. it would again, I'm going to refer back to our um, exhibition, but is it um, Frank Frank Water? Water. Water? But that wasn't his name, no, he had bare names. Frank was his name, full name Francis, Francis. Some I'm I'm, I'm going to Google, yeah. We went to his exhibition at the Garden Museum. Yeah. So shout out to the Garden Museum. They invited us to come and check it out. Thank you. Christopher Woodward. Who? No, no I'm just Oh, reading. okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, you've got the, the book. Daddy. They even gave us... I can't believe they gave us a book. Shout out to them, man. Christopher Woodward, director of the Garden Museum. So in um, Frank Waters' um, autobiography, he said, my duty is to free the minds of other human beings by lifting the mantle that hides the, uh, the truth. But only the truth may take us to that world. Wow. And it's like, it's heavy. he he had the proper like mission and duty that he mm. felt. Um, and I feel that as artists, we all have a duty and mission, I guess. Um, sometimes when you don't release those things, you might be stopping someone else from that healing. And not even just, because mm. obviously it's, it's your stuff. You can be selfish with it, I guess, to some extent. But like, if you're releasing music, I'm guessing with the intention for people to hear it, right? So maybe we're holding people I mean, that experience. I do see. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Do you know what I mean, like if, yeah. like even, I, I know we had that conversation earlier about um, Chat GPT and mm-hmm. all this stuff. But if that person had an idea to be like, let's create this 
software that can then help I people. guess that would never yeah. do you know what I mean so there's, there's always a reason why you should release something I'm not, it doesn't have to be a chat GPT or like something crazy like that but like yeah. even just a song that somebody can relate to or a design that somebody can find an event to go to I'll, I'll never forget there was um we did like a New Year's Eve event at church mm-hmm. and I made a poster for it and um, I think if someone listens to the pod they came to the um, New Year's Eve event because they saw the poster mm. Mm. yeah is, yeah, that is yeah. insane but it's like if I didn't make that, mm-hmm. would that person have come to experience what they experienced that night? Or yeah. Do you mm-hmm. know what I mean? There's, mm-hmm. like, there's so many connections that art makes that once you withhold that, people can't really, I don't know, they can't really experience those connections or those yeah. moments. It's a lot of pressure though. I think that's what people are. I don't, I don't, th- I don't think you have that of. pressure to be honest. I think. But as a musician, like. Mm. Yeah, yeah. It, I guess the pressure of yeah. a musician and a designer or it's a photographer is completely different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, that's fair. Why do you feel pressure as a musician? There is a level of like vulnerability mm-hmm. in making music that is completely different to like making design or photography. Yeah, of course. Where it's your actual like in in my case and others' cases, you have to act like you use your voice. Like not only am I like producing the music, but you're also mm-hmm. like, in essence, like using your voice as an instrument. Yeah. And it's like you put it to the world to kind of like assess or judge or mm-hmm. say, do I like it? Do I not like it? Does this make me feel anything? Or mm-hmm. like all these kind of things and you it's it's such a emotionally vulnerable place to be mm-hmm. like because again like for me because i've done design i've done this so i i feel like i've seen it and like music is the only thing where when you're doing it it just feels like way more like not to be pseudo like spiritual but it's way more spiritual mm. than the other art forms yeah, yeah. and i feel like Maybe this and when I used to paint, those are the two mm. times where I feel the paint. yeah yeah oh come on years, I, I, years I ain't surprised about that no yeah. at all you know it's yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. yeah like those are the two things where I always felt like like very very like spiritually like inclined mm. where it's like it transcends just being it's very like, per- it's very personal though I feel like even I used to sketch sometimes mm. but even a sketch still feels. Your subconscious starts yeah, to go and do, if you're not doing somebody that sketch and they look at it and they say nothing, mm. you start to feel like yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, raw, like man, really, because you it's yeah. like it's like bearing your soul out to someone. Yeah. It's basically and they, what's, in your, what's in your mind you and know look at it and be like. Hey. Whereas with <laughs> design, at least is a font that you've not created yeah. or like a color that already exists. Yes, so yes. you're you're kind of about hiding behind what has really been mm. given to you. But with music and with and I, painting, yeah. It's coming from you, mm-hmm. like yeah. self interpretation of what you're feeling or how, yeah. Because I was I was gonna say even with music, I guess because it is for others. Because it's music at the end of the day, like mm-hmm. you want other people to engage with it. Like design, photography, even like other art forms. Yes, it's still self expression, mm-hmm. but it doesn't always have to be for like a audience. Yes. Whereas like with music, it's always for an audience. Hundred percent. To yeah, yeah, it has to be. Yeah, yeah. most of the way, most yeah, of me, it's literally like, yeah. entertainment. Yes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's so why if it's not entertaining, feels... it makes it very difficult. Or that if it doesn't entertain an emotion in someone mm. else, like obviously not all music is gonna make you dance. But I feel like maybe that's why a lot of people mm. or a lot of musicians are quite scared to kind of release music because they have the. It's it's such a Damn, that's actually a lot. Y- yeah, it's it's like it, the more I think about it, the more like. It kind of like not tr- it triggers me sometimes because, like, sometimes you can say your most personal things subconsciously mm-hmm. in music. Mm-hmm. Like there's been so many times like I'll write a line or I'll play something, and then those two marry like in the in the song, and you you won't even realize that you just done something mm-hmm. like that. You might have been going through with something that you've been mm-hmm. suppressing in your brain, mm-hmm. like you know, and you write it and you sing it. And you record it, you leave it, you go and come back to it. And you're like, oh, that's what I was feeling. Mm. And like things start to click with you. Like there's never been a time where I'll design something and I'll go and come back and be like, oh, that's what I was feeling. <laughs> but maybe that's just because of the process that Unless I usually Unless it's take. a personal project. Unless yeah. it's a personal yeah. project, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But of most of the time, design tends to be a vehicle for other messages as yeah. opposed to yeah. your personal yeah, message. Yeah. I think that's like the mm-hmm. conflicting side of design. Photography even sometimes yeah. the same thing. Unless it's like... A personal project again, right? You know. So then, I don't have to even wear this, but like, do you feel like when people are like, "I don't want to make music anymore," they've got nothing to share? 
It could be a multi- multitude of reasons, to be fair. It sounds like it could be a lot of stuff, you know. Yeah, I do he, I do feel like that's that's one of the reasons. But how can you have nothing to show? Well, if, 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 if it's not the Bible that says, uh, <laughs> what, um, what do you call it? You can't pour from an empty vessel. I don't know if the Bible says that. I'm pretty sure it's like yeah, it's, no, in the, it's yeah, yeah it's no, in the Bible. It's, it's like a yeah, biblical. Concept. I, I'm de- I'm definitely yeah, paraphrasing, yeah, 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 but it's yeah. definitely like you can't give what you don't have. Of course you can't. Yeah, but it's like if we're saying that music is an experience of like how you what you're going through, mm-hmm. even but I guess maybe maybe it's not that you have nothing to say, but what you what you want to share, you don't think it's relevant what, or, or worth anything or worth or, anything. Or, or, yeah, yeah, or just like, you say your life is mundane now. It's like what do I speak about? The mundanity of life, not even being in the space to like do it as well. Yeah, yeah. It, it, from what you've explained, kind of sounds like quite a therapeutic or no. It's emotionally <laughs> stressful. Like, it's like, emotionally it quite taxing. Ta- quite taxing. Yeah. Like Some people do find it therapeutic or not? Yeah, I can imagine. But like you're still bearing yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the <laughs> I think work it, that I can't remember the. So that's why I'm just like, it sounds like there a, was this interview I was watching, and I can't remember who, but I remember it was a lady, and she said something about how when musicians make music, mm-hmm. they are they're basically trauma dumping, like they're trauma dumping mm-hmm, on, mm-hmm. on the audience. Yeah, that, that's, sounds accurate. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, we like, I might make a song about my pain mm. and I'm pouring it on someone and forcing like, into your ears, my pain. Mm-hmm. It can kind of be, a, like I'm saying, it's, it's a very evil, not evil, maybe it's more <laughs> cynical, <laughs> the very cynical no, no, no. He, space. I hear, I hear what you're saying. Like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Even, okay, I'll give you an example. Gospel music, right? Mm-hmm. Someone can talk about the love of Christ. Duh. Someone can go and make, uh, a, 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 you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Like, no, and they, yeah. can, they can be so convicted. Yeah. Like, and then we have, we have we start to have things like little things like contentions in music. Like someone will be like um, three persons in one. Someone will be like God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit are separate. And like these kind of things, but these are like emotional things that they've attached. So I'm saying mm. like it's so spiritual sometimes that people will attach these things to the sound and pour it out, and someone takes it in. Mm. And I think there is a lady on TikTok. She's talking about uh, cymatics. My name is Aresia Grace, and I only listen to one artist's music. For the past 60 days, I've listened almost exclusively to one artist to learn more about how cymatics affect the human brain. For the past 30 Recently, days, we're talking about what, like, how music can make you sure. change who you are or it can influence your being. 100% it can. But like, yeah. she literally going through this experiment. I tried to find her. She's going through this experiment where she listens to an artist for like a month or two. Uh-huh. Interesting. And, yeah. Okay. And, and that, that, that's, that's what you should send And up, recently, yeah. she's listening to The City Girls. <laughs> right and she said she was talking about how how it's influenced her so positively because oh. she she relates to so many of the struggles of the oh, black women wow. who are fair rapping enough. Yeah, yeah, fair and enough. for her it feels very very liberating mm. in okay. comparison to the preconceived notion of what she thought she was going into yeah. but at the end of the day it's you're relating on that trauma do you get what I'm saying like you 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 they get you yeah yeah you know yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. that's why I don't like listening to like a certain oh. Certain artists I can't stand. Hey, like who uh, Angel? That, that came from a place. Yeah, that was like no, the stank for you, like like stand. a little Uzi, Young Fog. Oh, really, bro? Mm. Uh, you hate uh, uh, t- t- it. That kind of music just feels chaotic. But yeah, uh, but you know what? Is that is that Jagad Jagad Jagadila or, or like? <laughs> Is that drag music? Do you know what I mean? It's like I can't relate on well, that. Well, you don't want to rock. No, but no, no, no you know what is? No, but even I, drag music, I feel like. Nah, no, that's not drug music. No. There's drug music, bro. That's when, not drug when, music. I, when I mean drug music, I'm talking about the man that, you know, the psychedelic man. Oh, oh that's what you like, mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not saying I'm a drug dealer, kind of like. Drug dealer, sorry. Like, drug dealer is more like the drill, UK mm. rap kind of. But it's like, I don't know. I just, there's something for me. I just can't, I can't find the common ground. Okay, do you feel like music. you need the common ground in order to like. I feel like I need, in. I think for me, um, I need something that. I can relate to you. Or not mm. even relate to you because some songs you, you can't relate to. Mm-hmm. I, mm-hmm. I, I'm not in the fourth floor door or no, like... You know what I mean? I was in <laughs> 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 You know what I mean? But it's some music where it's, I just love the beat. Mm. Obviously, the lyrics have to like... And even the flow, like Unknown T, for example, like I've got no mm. correlation. Listen. Listen. Yeah. But like the way he raps... But this is how they get you. <laughs> yeah. The, but the way he raps, yeah. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. That's how they get you. Look at this. <laughs> what, what do you mean by that? This is what, this is what I'm saying. This is what music can do. I like, it, it, it can it can it can break your defenses. 
Yes. Like the Ooh, the preconceived man. ideas that you have about what is sh- what you are allowing into you mm. yeah. can be broken by the. That's what I'm saying. It's a mesmerizing thing. It's yeah, so spiritual. Very... How can a man? Because the thing is, with unknown teeth, for example, he's talking about Shaver man. <laughs> Bro, but the way he makes it sound. <laughs> Yeah, we've done the dance as well, yeah. And it's like, <laughs> yes, but it's like when I don't know, it's like, it's like and it's like a program because what he does, yeah, mm. he'll get the beat, you. the beat will start, yeah. And once you hear, listen, listen, is it? Yeah, mm-hmm. listen. Yep, that's what he taps. <laughs> not, gonna, not gonna plug into the system. That was giving the truth about hip hop. Like, oh, you, no, like you know what what you're saying, like. I'm I'm listening. Listening. I'm just, yep, yep. And you're, you're like you're literally like. <laughs> no, I'm listening. I'm, I'm listening. Is, is this not? Is, is this not? They call it Tyrone. No, no. Word, word, word. <laughs> this is exactly it. No, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. Because sometimes you've got me thinking about certain songs that I will not even be really like listening to the lyrics, but I'm like in a deep state of like feeling away. Like I'll be really like sad. Mm-hmm. Or I'll be really. Oh, like, there's some songs that make you sad, so and then. You. I will listen to the lyrics and I'm thinking, oh, man. What's okay. what's the song that if you hear right now you just feel sad? Um, Simon and Garfunkel. You know oh. the one that goes, "Hello, darkness, my old friend." Oh wow. yeah, 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 I hear that. I just feel sad. Oh, there's one song. Oh my goodness. But it, all the, all the sad songs for me it always tends to be like old songs. There's one, um, mm. the Beatles. Um, I, I don't know if it's the Beatles or just Paul Mac- uh, McCartney. McCartney. But there is a, a song called Blackbird. Mm-hmm. That was the first oh, song I cried to. Wow. Oh. Yeah, it's it's so it's such a beautiful song, but it's so sad. You know what I'm saying? There's some songs, bro. There's, when they when you just hear it, yeah. There's a certain mm. song here yeah, by um, James Blake. The, it's called the um, William William. Scream. Oh, Wilhelm, yeah, Wilhelm Scream, yeah, yeah. Bro, and I, and I think we spoke about um, his references, and maybe not on the pod, but we spoke we've spoken about it. Mm-hmm. Um, about I think his father passed away right. His from father, him. yeah, yeah. wrote the songs. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. he 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 re so now everything. when I'm thinking about it, I'm like, yep, raw. So but it, it wasn't that it wasn't like that before. Yeah, but that, it's almost like it makes sense why why I was feeling sad. Mm-hmm. Mm. That that song is all I know is I'm falling, I'm falling, 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 falling. Oh, it is. Might as well fall. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but it's it, you can feel the sad. Mm-hmm. Even um, feel no way is Drake. <laughs> I don't feel sad. I just feel very like um, mellow. That's like a two-step song. <laughs> no, but I feel mellow. It's, it's almost like you've had a long day at work and you're at like... I don't it know. is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so there's a song that you feel some type of way and it's like, yeah. Hmm. It's very interesting to be mm-hmm. honest. Yeah. And this is another reason why I feel like a lot of artists might hoard music is because either it makes them feel too much or they, this is the right That's feeling real. they're trying to give. Like, I've, yeah, I've yeah, recorded yeah. so many dark songs yeah, yeah. that will never see the light of day because mm. I just feel like it's not the right representation of what right. I want to put out in the world. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. that doesn't negate people from doing that. If you are feeling sad like an artist, you you have the right to express yourself. Yeah. But you also have the right to be the artist that you want to be. Right. So you get to kind of choose what you want to represent, like, to come out. This, this you know is a very left direction. Here we go. However, okay, so there was recently a conversation about um, Thames song "Me and You," mm. um, and then it's like I think they did the same <laughs> thing with the Beyonce, Beyonce yeah. um, um, album. The okay. Lemonade one or um, um, no, um, Black is King. Black is King. Oh, Black is okay. And almost like this, the reference to like these um, Yama, Yamoja. Yeah, these oh, gods. Oh, the deities. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, stuff, yeah. yeah. And um, I think somebody said that um, Thames also impersonating like uh, a certain god. Right. That was annoying me. Sorry. But obviously, Tim's came out and said, "No, nah, actually, this is about yeah. my lord." And even though she said that, he's lying. Though I can't, I don't believe that. No, okay, fair enough, fair enough. But even though she said that, personally, the way I am, I'm, I just feel like if someone said that, you have no reason to lie. If you're lying, of course, yeah, that's yeah. that's on your own, isn't it? But like, yeah. if that's what you actually feel like that song means to you, fair enough, I'll I, I believe you. But if if that's not true, then <laughs> yeah. <laughs> maybe I'm the. But fool. Like, okay, but like, from this conversation though, do you feel like that's what the song was about? Okay, and this was my question in the sense of like, do you think people, and I'm sure people do, mm. um, yeah, there's one artist, immediately I know he, and I'm saying he, oh, I think is I a know UK he's... artist, oh. and he's the Bunsam artist, <laughs> I mean, we know who he is, but like, I, right. I believe that he's gone, to, he's, he's writing that song from a spiritual place. <laughs> <laughs> like, let's, I mean... 
if you think about the music he drops and our response to the music <laughs> after it's dropped, like that to me says a lot. He's hor- but there's like, <laughs> do you think people actually sit down and be like, "Son, I got bad men to dance." We're gonna plant. Yo, well, he really we're, did gonna, that. We're, we're gonna plant this thing mm. into this song to like Ev- invoke, like, evoke a something. Mm. Oh, I thought you were invoking spirits, but okay, evoke. It could, it could be that, okay. but like, or a certain. Because I, f- I, I don't know if it's... And the thing is, I'm on the side where it's like... No, I do think people are involved in that stuff. But do you think people... And I also do think that, okay, you're stretching it. Mm. But do you think the the people are actually going out of their way to be like, I'm going to make this song mm-hmm. and it's going to be this demonic something so that... Because sometimes people We're make songs... now. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes people make songs and it's like, that was never the intention. Mm. People have over constructed or over criticized or overlooked uh, into yeah. it. Our favorite era, the Illuminati era, and yeah. it made, they made it something that I, is it is not. I kind of feel like with the Thames thing, yeah. Part of me was frustrated because it was giving English shit for me. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but yeah, that, yeah but I, th- yeah. I feel like in our culture, we do a lot of it in general. We always then put as human beings, we just impose our own thoughts into things. Like Get Out is a great example. Yeah, Jordan yes. Peele. So many times, like, is it with um, Variety magazine or, yeah, I think it's Variety or Wired or one of the two. Uh-huh. But he was like, oh, yeah, he was reading out people's theories on things. Like, even the, co- you know, when she has like the Fruit Loops and the milk. Oh, yes. Um, yes, yes. Talk about yeah. like the separation. The separation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People like, oh, yeah, the, no, not mixing with the colors and the, and the white because he wants Lowry, to maintain her purity. Lowry, and Lowry, he was just thinking, no, that just kind of happened. Eating Fruit Loops and milk separately won't mix white with colors. I've had a lot of people say this to me. The the Fruit Loops and the milk are definitely representational, a, a colorful uh, food and a white food. But um, it's just more that she's kind of like this really twisted girl who's got this sort of method. Ultimately, it was just really random. We just thought, yeah, let's just kind of do it and see what happens. Like yeah. it was like that, but w- because of the context of the film, I don't think that was a bad chance though. Maybe but we we can have the conversation. But the thing is, uh, that's, that's the thing. There's so many things that, like, okay, that Terrence music video, for example, mm-hmm. I thought it was it was shot beautifully. It was. But it's like... She was just wearing a white dress. Yes. With, with, and we're near the water, and now you're doing up your... Is it because you guys learned about all of these Yoruba deities as well? Because... I mean, there, there were actual Yoruba people saying that, to be fair. So. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. I, I understand I thought, the thought, conversation. Oh, it's always there, yeah. It's like, yeah. And also, <laughs> an, an, another thing as well, yeah. I think sometimes people are too simplistic in their thinking in the sense of they think that Thames has um, shot the video, directed the video, she's color graded the video, she's edited right, the video. Right, 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 right. And right. it's like, there are so many people involved in this production. Mm-hmm. 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 Somebody has directed that to look that way, mm. for example. Like, it, it may not only be coming from Thames. Yeah. Let, and do you know what I mean? To on the flip side of this argument, mm-hmm. somebody on the team could also be pulling from those references. I w- <laughs> exactly. To, to, be, to be fair. Yeah, exactly. To be fair. But so, we can't always say, yeah, we, oh, the artist true. is, but, because there's a lot of other... No, true. Yeah. But, but then the eyes can't be... Uh, they can't be so sure about... That's why I'm saying that. I mm. didn't really believe Tem saying it was about Jesus, it's like about God and stuff. Because it was like, for me, I'd rather you say nothing and let us figure it out if we have to. Because you saying it's about Jesus Christ. Yeah, but, that might be you. But I felt like... By the director and the people who... Were, but, no, but if, that, if, that, if no, that song I actually meant that to you and somebody saying it's about certain demonic... Yeah. But I won't talk no, about the song, if, though. If, they were talking about the artwork. If that goes against like your belief... You're going to speak on it. Which is and fair, because yeah, yeah. I think that was gaining traction, and like uh-huh. she's not, she doesn't believe in like African. Said, let, like, let me cut, let me cut this out so now. Is cool? let let me, but yeah. see, this, this is another reason why people be so. holding music because they're scared about how people like you, someone take it and run. Mm. I guess but it's, it's like it's community in this world, right? But it yeah. comes with the territory. Yeah, 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 it's no longer like when you release stuff, it's no longer yours anymore. Yeah, exactly. Because I'm sure, like even. um Someone's going to make a TikTok her. about it and then do a weird dance. Mm. And be like, oh God, this... <laughs> like, you, you always know that song, the gospel song that people were doing, like, dancing to it in um on TikTok. Oh, Yeshua. Uh, they made us bro, so that... the Africans <laughs> have been running with it. They've this been is, doing... This is news like, to me. I'll, 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 I'll send it to That's you. one of my favorite songs anyway. Bro, if you hear it now, you'll be surprised what it sounds going to be different. People be shaking your ass. But it's even, to, it's to, even to, like... Yeah. Um, Jarrah, no, but, but then Jarrah, when they, that, that got uh, remixed, kind of, but, but yeah, one, yeah. I, yeah. W- I was gonna say with shaking your ash, like, whoa, <laughs> they're gonna say culture, you know, because even in the Thames video, there was more of like traditional, like the dancing. way that you dance back home, yeah. but I don't know, it's like that. I hope. 
No, no, no. <laughs> You're silly. <laughs> but You're there's silly. certain things that you, back home, that you'll probably do that we don't really hold with, oh, that's a super, super sexual. It's just people expressing oh, themselves. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I do see and what the move saying, just yeah. happens to be you shaking your body. And for some people, when there's extra, something, something in those areas, it will move. But like, yeah. because of our context here. Why are you laughing? Oh, we're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're doing up something. But because when they were saying the whole, oh, spiritual something, something. Mm-hmm. Part of me is like, okay, they saw her wearing right, white, right? Yeah. Saw her wearing white. They saw candles on the floor. She's near the water. Come on. There'll no, be I got it. Me personally. Me personally. If I see a circle of candles on the floor. Come on. I'm, I'm like, like I'm giving Hollywood. I, like, I hear it, but I think at the same time, it even got me thinking about our references in general. Like, it reminds me of the episode mm. we spoke about ages ago with Tyler, the creator, talking about everybody and the references and, like, mm-hmm. the importance of that. And this is where on the, like, when it comes to, like, things regarding like faith and creativity yeah. i get frustrated because i feel like this is what then boxes certain people in to feel like you can't if i want to express my faith but i also want to do something creative it has to be within these four walls yeah because yeah. if i go outside of that people are going to say it's devilish people are going to say this is not what christians do mm-hmm. blah, blah blah like when i first started getting into going off on a tangent but yeah when i first started getting into like christian contemporary music like back in like uni times Hillsong United was one like the first yeah, CCM. groups. Probably that gonna I, be like, like Lecrae or something. But okay, man, no, I never got into like Christian hip hop. You know, so whack, man. The like, thing is, I was, pers- personally, I I did not enjoy. To be honest, Lecrae, Lecrae, Lecrae's new stuff is fire, fire, dude. No, like so this stuff. Okay, like no cap, Lecrae stuff now. I was whoa. So Lecrae over some hip hop artists, fair enough. No, right now no, Lecrae is yeah. doing very I well. Listened to, the Lua, last one I think was the Gyra one when he featured. Oh no, no, oh, like, like he had his album. Was it the Blessings album? Oh. Yeah, but there was the, one before Ana- yeah. Anomaly. I think Anomaly no. onwards was yeah. where I started listening. Lecrae's oh, wow. actually. Well, I was like, wow, okay, maybe because he was talking about social, nah, they got, like, they, they've got political guys, stuff as well. They got you. No, but like I think because it was more than just like but I'm going to be talking about Jesus Christ. Oh yeah, but he. I remember he did that whole like freed himself. Because the thing is, it's, 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 it's not like he's not a believer. He don't believe in Jesus. He believes in Jesus. But he's saying but like, there's a certain, okay, in the Christian world, there's a certain place that if you get into, you're, you're chained. It's long. You're chained. You can't get out. Yeah. But once you, Chains. once you actually live out your faith and actually is a bit more authentic to you, there's certain songs you can make where you don't even care no more what people will say. Because I think when you're so secure mm. in your salvation, you don't really need to, I guess, have to prove to people that yeah. I'm still Christian, by the way. Because what happens as well, like yeah. I mean, people that, people are still messaging him, like, oh, this isn't, this isn't of God, this imagine. isn't right. Yeah, it's move, like man. Him. Like, it's, it's one of them ones. Like, if you don't believe, because the thing is, people have to remember that we're all at different stages in our lives. Uh-huh. You meet somebody that maybe they've been with the Lord for fifty years, or somebody meeting the Lord for ten years. They've all got different experiences. Even somebody could be with Lord for one year and you're the same as you. Uh-huh. We've all got different experiences. How you grew up, like there's certain things that I don't agree with or certain things that I don't understand yet uh-huh. because I've got a different upbringing or different context. Whereas, do you know what I mean? It's a slippery it's like, slope though. It's very slippery because, I mean, there's common sense and also there's wisdom. Like, what does God actually want you to do? There's some things where it's like, okay, you're weighing it now. But this is what I'm saying. But like, if, if it's, you're expressing it's, yourself. This is what I'm saying. It's, it's art. Yeah. Mm. There's no such thing as you're boying it. But no, no, they, no, there is a point. Come on, man. No, there isn't. I, I was gonna say with, especially when, again, art and context, like, mm-hmm. so and its expression is. Yeah, it's like okay. I'll give you an example. Yeah, Recently, on. Doja Cat released her project Scarlet. I mm-hmm. believe that's what the project is called. Mm-hmm. Right? And a lot of people, including myself, were like, "Yeah, not really a fan of this whole f- uh, pseudo fake." Uh, Illuminati I'm a demonic da, da, da. it's not really doesn't feel real it's not the same it didn't, it's not hitting like yeah like it used but to back be. at the OGs the OGs I believe <laughs> like, like you yeah, not too, do you know what I'm saying like <laughs> that one you were having nightmares about Apocalypse. like Beyonce <laughs> and like ooh the rock nah, is in the building oh my, but this one eh. I was like well I have to share this on the podcast like, nah go wait, on oh, you have nah, a no I had a dream that like I was in a concert of a certain oh artist oh my god please share it and why were we all covered in blood <laughs> Wait, as their whoa, music whoa, was whoa, playing whoa. in the background? God I'll beat. never forget. I'll never forget. This how they got it. <laughs> Song slaps though, but it's just like, <laughs> Wait, this is back in, I'm, I'm not going to say this on the podcast. Blood Orange, Blood Orange or Solange. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, not even them. And I know blood. that my mm-hmm. baby Solange, I know she likes her, um, what's it called? Florida water and stuff. I know she l- plays with the stuff. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Google's but her feet in there. You know? Just like a little touch. <laughs> but like, that's that's too deep. Doubles. Yeah, doubles. <laughs> but, <laughs> doubles in it, you know. But like, um, still love you. But, <laughs> they doubles in a little witchery, you know. It's just um, like a little No, touch. but like, Jesus loves you. These were, <laughs> these are the people that went, you know, back in the day, weren't beating the allegations. Mm. <laughs> the OGs. But, but, but most people yes. weren't beating the allegations at the time. They were not no, beating the no. allegations. If you, if you were a particular group of people, mm. Rock it's, Nation, there's a yeah, certain yeah, song that yeah. you're not. Nope. Yeah. Do you remember that song, um, Run This Town? Yeah. Yes. No, that's <laughs> that is exactly no, that song. No, like <laughs> it was in that song. the first time, the first time, hey, like, come on. the first yeah. time I saw that music video. <laughs> Fear, as in, yeah. <laughs> where my where my school was, like our boarding house, there was a massive field. Oh, there was, there, was, there was a point where like they would keep the wind, um, the curtains open in like the main like area and stuff. Common room, not not common room, like just the main dining area where we'd always like chill. Yeah, I I would want the curtains closed because I would just be thinking, what if I start seeing like torches everywhere? I didn't. There was a point I didn't even see. I had like this like duvet cover that was black on one side, green on the other. You tried it. I always turn it to the green side because <laughs> I think if I turn it to the black side, I'm just gonna be thinking of. Oh my! But this is when I was on. This is when I was on the websites here, yeah, and I was just searching everything. You're going to this leave. Is, yeah. This is like Beyonce single ladies time where she had that the Baphomet thing on the yes. motor. But I said, rewind uh, the track. Zoom, 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 zoom. Uh, yeah. No, the sweet dreams time. video that they said that the horse sweet. in the that horse in the back in the background for the apocalypse. Do you know I the one said, that caught me? It was the uh, the man that might not be named. His music video for Power. <laughs> <laughs> I but had nightmares. <laughs> I would never watch that. Is that is <laughs> like, eyes were crystal clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, fam, this music thing is not a joke, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that, that one, I believe they intentionally said, <laughs> I want that in there. <laughs> like, when angels fighting each other, like, yeah. no. bro. Someone had wings. I was like, nah. bro. Scared for what? my life. Bro. <laughs> like, Nani? That, I think that Power video is probably one of the craziest videos I've that seen. video was scary man <laughs> very cool though oh it's, it's very the, the, cool like it's, there's this kind of like ra- speed ramping thing that yeah. they do when it's like yeah. the bro oh Dude, that one's tough but run this run this time for me mm. run this time it's when someone said that there's a little dun, you know that dun dun or the build up yeah, like yeah that yeah. little beat that was i think towards the end there's like different faces that you see in on every oh cuts with the God. beat someone's like oh yeah that's a 13 13, um, this guy, um, this guy's a scholar. 13 gods of hell. I said, go! <laughs> 13 gods of hell. <laughs> How did you know 13? No, I, I don't. And, that, and this is the thing, yeah, because hindsight, this from? hindsight is, this is very much 2020. Because this same website, I'd be, I used to think like, Where's the goodness of God? Yeah, nah, nah, nah. Why are you not? We're just, just there for bad the vibes. We're just there for no, bad vibes. No, it got, is no, always negative, negative, yeah, it got, bad vibes. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I can. It got to the point. I use. I search every mu- new music video that came up on that <laughs> site. Vigilant says, and you, will not, you guys will not see. I said you will not rest. You. Hmm. <laughs> How can I be searching stuff like Cheryl Cole fight for this love to see if there's any? To balance. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. It's, it's mad. Cheryl Cole. Can you imagine? But you see, this is the thing about the music, though. It's like. It, it just takes, it's a different thing mm. completely. Like, bro, I've, you see people in trance, like a pop up, like tr- in the yeah, trance. No, it's true. Like, go out in an event and a mosh pit, and you see mm. the way people are like, bro, we were all like Kendrick. But the certain songs that came on, I was like, bro. But when, when, when that song came on, I hear, yeah, 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 yeah. Huh. And, and the thing is, even all of us, everybody, the, all the, of the us. Thing, the thing is, yeah, it's like, man, not doing mosh pits here, yeah, and man, are tired. But you can't stop. But you can't stop. You, you can't. We have to keep on going. It's, 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 it's based on survival. You have to survive. Yes. Yeah. If you stand there, no more push you. <laughs> and you'll be trampled on. Mm. Bro. You can't it's, afford it's to. It's actually crazy. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't, I'm, I'm not surprised that people say, oh, I want to stop making music. Yeah. Because yeah. sometimes it's like you're competing with people who can get people in a trance. Mm. How are you going to compete with that? I was going to say, Scissors is a good example of like, because I... I what song? Kill Bill. She, I know she said hmm. she didn't expect How does Kill Bill go? I just killed, killed my ex. I say that all the time because words are powerful as well. Yep. I'm just like, damn. Because it's got like yeah. over a billion streams and I'm like, wow, those are people just singing about yep. killing their ex. That's crazy. And she, even with her, she was like, yeah, she did not expect that song to pop. Why? She, but she did it. Did she, did she write, did no, she write but that? Again, no, she did. But again, did. When, when, like you said well earlier about well like, things coming from an emotional place and music sounds very cathartic. Like, mm-hmm. People are relating to your yeah. innermost things. Yeah. And it's a form of oh, therapy. I know, I know the song now, yeah. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. Yeah, you got to... I'd rather be in it, somewhere bro. than Personally. alone. Yeah. Huh? But, again, you know how you're like, how how far's the line or 
mm-hmm. you said that there's not really a like a bar, but you said yeah. like you you know in your limit. But when it's, it's like an experience, when, you're it, when there's an experience that's so like real to you, because imagine the line saying that was real to you. He said, "I'd rather be in hell than alone." That's what she said in the song. So yeah. like, did yeah, you know to Fiaqua? But like. <laughs> For good man. You must have been feeling very, very, very that's high very pressure very anger. Low yeah. For you had to kind of say something like that, but then again, it speaks to such a real human experience. Like, I think of Billie Eilish often when it comes to like singing and mm. songwriting. Because when I first saw that music video with the black tears, I said, ah. I mean, it's so I, hard. I, I, I ain't watched it. That. Illuminati, so yeah. Illuminati yeah. confirmed. Illuminati confirmed. Yeah. But very cool creativity, yeah, yeah. but then seeing how loads of young people are able to like relate to her music mm-hmm. and mm. i was so confused at first until i listened to like her first album and i was like wow okay. well, she's one of, she's one of those young people though yeah and she's, she's talking yeah. about the realities of like what she's dealing with and yeah. i think sometimes that raw vulnerability and honesty like it seems like with music there's a lot more got like britney spears pop tracks for example beyonce pop tracks back in the day or like Oh, Justin Timberlake actually used to talk about his emotions and feelings, I guess. But the they all do. I, I it's just, like it's the beat is happy. Yeah. It's getting darker, though, no? It's always been it, quite dark. No, but no, 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 no. It's, pop, not, it's getting pop, darker. It, popular wise, I feel like there's a lot of lot more dark stuff now. You, so what, what darker than like Lady Gaga and them? them no, 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 that wasn't really But if you, no, even, even really Lady Gaga, the few jumpy songs, you know. Yeah. At least there's. Wait, but who's who's dark? The one I say like the actual the the on the, it, it the feels vibes, it's, like it's the, very the like think about R and B. There was a there was a point in time where it was very moody, very like the Bryson Tiller. Yeah. Yeah. Let me let me hold you to Bryson Tiller. There's a huge huge like. Let me hold you to about controlling the woman. Sweat on. <laughs> I just made that up. <laughs> this guy. But anyway, <laughs> but like it's, it was so happy and like I want to like. Oh, yeah. no, it's so funny because people tweet like, "Ah, oh, bring back the days when people used to like take cocaine." Cause now everybody, no, no cause words, every, yeah. Every, cause now everybody's taking weed and they're doing, they're doing the zan, the, yeah, you know, the, weed like, is a depressant, so you're just saying yeah. relax, vibing. Yeah. No cocaine, cause you want to dance again. I mean, people are definitely doing it still. The eighties is kind of back. Yeah, I, I generally miss the old like happy music, man. I feel like we're probably romanticizing it though, cause there's definitely, definitely. a lot of happy music out. Now. No, no, there is, but it's not. It's still dark now. It's yeah. definitely is it is darker, but, but, the, I, the, but the actual it, sound is dark. I think I think on the in the mainstream it definitely feels like that. Mm. But there is always the underbelly. Oh no, there is always the like for example. Because I feel like it's like a what do you, what do you call the sand uh, timers? Oh yeah, when you want yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah like yeah. It's, it might be dark Our, now. Hourglassing. But like yeah. everyone's gonna get tired of it. It's gonna turn over yeah. again, and they're gonna right. turn over again. Right. Gonna turn over right. again. So, yeah. Remember even even recently to be honest, um, was it twenty sixteen? Mm. There's a summer where we all were outside. Yeah. Drake had released. Yeah, been, yeah. Drake had released a song. Yeah. I forgot what it was, but everyone was happy. I think, in in, in fairness, co- um, COVID, COVID happening yeah. made us go into this kind of a deeper, like, yeah. dark space. Yeah, 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 and I feel sure. like we'll come out of it soon. I mean, the Amen. dance music seems yeah. like it's back on. It's coming back to a more positive. Thing, yeah, 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 exactly. And the last last note, um, Afrobeats. Um, I, I don't really agree with this, or I don't really care about it, that yeah. comment. No, I care about Afrobeats, but the comment that was made about mm. like, oh, have we lost Afrobeats? What, what, what is it? Is? Wait, lost I, the how? I, I, saw, I saw it on the gram. Someone um, made a comment saying, oh, Afrobeats is basically lost because well, it becomes too, too accessible. Much. I don't think it has. No, no it has. No, nah, every, man, everybody bare, and their sister. It's bare is, Afrobeats. They don't, they don't no, there is, but it's not as, it's not like what Afrobeat was. But there's, there's certain Afrobeats where like, I don't even listen to Remo as much, to be honest. I don't... Like, he's got, for me, the TikTok songs. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's not... My, my my music at the moment I'm enjoying is like... Uh, or even those are like Kim Promise. But like... But even that, sometimes his music is still a bit mm, empty as well. But that's what I'm saying. Uh, like, the old Afrobeats... Yeah, yeah. Like... Well, like a, um, a whiskey don't do. I don't even consider that. I mean, oh, that's not like... I'm talking like about like flavor, like, M I one day call. Because I th- I feel like Afrobeats, it's just such a complex conversation. Because okay, are what you gonna, Afro- are you gonna do a burner boy? No, I'm not. Okay, but Afrobeats is it's like it has no substance. <laughs> no, 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 not even. I'm just saying like Afro. What I know of Afrobeat. Mm. Okay, you're saying Afrobeat now. Y- what it's the same for me. It's the same thing. It's just a, like it's just it's evolving multiple okay. different like directions, but like. What the music that my dad used to listen to, okay. that I ended up 
listening to because of him and the, their generation. But more like, but I, can't like I heard, stuff. you know, when sometimes, because with me and Tree, yeah, like, yeah. I understand it in conversation, but in music, sometimes it just becomes like a blur. Fair enough. So sometimes when people explain the meanings of certain You're songs, shocked. yeah, I'm like, yeah. I think there's a song by, it's called um, I Saw by Quabina Quabina, I think. Is he him? Yeah. Was he him? Um, I saw him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. And apparently he's saying that wherever you are, God God will find you or Aww. God will kill you, essentially. Because, yeah, she was hurt. That's yeah. a heart. God, God like will that. deal with you. Oh, yeah. Yo, I didn't but, hear that. Okay. But in the parties... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Us, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah so. But 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 that was, that's African pop music in in yeah, in, in yeah, comparison because yeah. yeah, pop yeah, music yeah. is usually it feels like happy and stuff, mm-hmm. but some most of the subject matter is quite dark. Are like I love me, love me, and stuff like I that. It's like, like even Premier, Premier yeah. Gao, like everyone's talking. about That's like, a heartbreak song. Yeah. But heartbreak a lot of song. African music is about heartbreak. Mm. Oh, yeah. It's what I'm saying. Like if you if you look back, a lot of music is not. A lot of music isn't about happy times. Yeah. Like, you have the blues. You have rock and roll. You, like, these are about, like, angsty mm, expression. Mm. Like, you have to express those emotions. That's There's very... a happiness as well, but it's mostly when, sad. When you deep it, like, before the commercialization yeah. of, like, music, yeah. It's very it was more. It was a lot more of, like, an intrinsic yeah, yeah. expression. It, it becomes... Like, it, it tends to come, like, happier when it does get commercialized. Mm. You know, like, disco is one of the most commercialized genres, and that's yeah. mostly about having a good time. Good mm. time. Dun, 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 dun. Mm. But, but yeah, in the beginning... Yeah. No, but deep it, because they wanted to evoke a mood and a feeling. Exactly. So, yeah. yeah. Hey, this disco was lit though. I, like I, was, I was gonna say, yeah, well, how are I, you? I went there. But, <laughs> but like, watching like, I think, you know like the stereotypical like, huge afros, mm. like, um, a, a spark, the soul spark, train? Ooh. What? I see what you're saying, yeah. Like a sparkling. But even, even that, that era is another dark the, the era as well. Drugs yeah. as well. Like, what's the name? Is it Bobby Womack? When he's like, I wish you didn't trust me so much. Talk about how he was sleeping mm. with his best friend's wife. Like, songs like that. That, I watch it. The Womack families, family yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a lot. Wow. But even look at, look at it. The music was always opposite to like how they were living. Look at someone like Marvin Gaye. What happened to him? Yo. And like, there's so many stories about mm. these kind of things around that time where right. people were singing these kind of beautiful love songs, but their life was completely the opposite. Mm. But the thing is, it was a machine back then, no? They got told do this, well, it still is. But they I mean, got to told degree, do, do but this, yeah. and then yeah. What? Wow. I would say yes, but then even like even I feel flow, like people, even flow, bro. people cared about the music more though. In Pe- people sense. still care, but like the. Let me rephrase. I guess like the way people interact and engage with the music then, it probably was more because now like we just have loads of access to stuff, so mm-hmm. it doesn't mean as much compared to back then where it was like, oh my god, this new song has just come out. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. Thanks, guys, for tuning in to today's episode of Wool of Thirds. Feel free to share your thoughts with us using the hashtag Wool of Thirds Pod. And for more from us, follow us on Instagram at Wool of Thirds Pod. Or our personal accounts for myself, Burns, Burns JNR, Mike at underscore man like Mike, and Jude at Kente Kwame. Catch you guys in the next one.